Hello Aries, I hope you are enjoying your weekend. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Aries, you want a soulmate reading to check out on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, the universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aries, for Aries' highest good, please. The universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries in the life. This one is very hot, strong energy, so we're going to use it as extra message. The universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries in the life and how is Aries currently doing on their summit journey oh you showing up as very powerful queen of wands queen of action but you are showing up reversed in first position which means um, you are not taking action you are not communicating with your soulmate you are not reaching out to them even though you want to clear the air with them have better understanding of what's going on uh, you are stopping yourself from reaching out yeah silence is showing up this is you trying to go within to use your great intuition discernment to make wise decisions you feel that is a wise decision right now not to reach out to them even though you want to yeah you feel like you need to liberate yourself because this person is not meeting you halfway not reciprocating in this relationship not telling you where you stand in their life not committing in a healthy way yeah this is how you view them mm, mm, mm. yeah so based on their behavior towards you uh, you formed an opinion of them right this is how you view them based on the behavior towards you uh, just a page of swords someone who's kind of hesitating communicating you see, but they holding two swords, which is unusual because almost all tarot decks have page of swords with one sword, either pointing down, mostly pointing up. But this one has two swords crossed, you see, which means they're trying to figure out, are you going to reach out to them or they do they need to reach out to the, to you? So this person has a question right now and they're trying to figure out how to handle this. Um, yeah, communication with this person is difficult. Yeah, this is you not being able to communicate with them effectively to have better understanding what they're thinking, feeling, where this is going. Yeah, you really are not chasing them. So you're stopping yourself from reaching out because the sword is pointing down. But you really want to tell them how you really feel, what you really think, but you're stopping yourself. When you add these swords, becomes three of swords, which means you've been through a lot of heartbreak in this relationship. Yeah, you've been through a lot of heartbreak, ups and downs emotionally, roller coasters, and you feel that enough is enough. Yeah, universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries in their life. And how is Aries currently doing on their summit journey? Oh, yeah, here it is, Three of Swords. So here's Three of Swords divided between two cards. And here's Three of Swords in one card. You feel heartbroken, devastated. You feel unappreciated. You feel unloved, unreciprocated. Like, you feel like you have to babysit this relationship. You want a solid relationship. Yeah, because you know that's what you deserve. You deserve a solid, loving relationship. Yeah, you see? The Ace of Swords is showing up twice, pointing down. You really are not reaching out to them. You feel that the ball is in their court, that they need to prove themselves to you. Now, we're going to add these Seven of Swords all together. Two, three, and two. Seven of Swords. You feel betrayed in this relationship. You feel let down. You feel like you were betrayed, like you were misinformed, like you wasted your time. Yeah, you want a solid 
relationship because you know you deserve a solid relationship. You see, monogamous, healthy, balanced relationship. Wow, justice. Justice showing up here. You feel that you've done everything in your power to make this relationship work. There's nothing else you can do. You also, it looks like this relationship set you back financially as well. Like you had financial losses because of this relationship. Mm hmm. Hmm. You still love them though. You recognize that you still love this person, but you feel that you have to love them from a distance unless, of course, they prove themselves to you, are committal, are present, show you love, reciprocate. You are meeting new people, people of influence, influential people, social circles, um, mutual friends and acquaintances. Yeah, you see this? This is you. Uh, meeting new people who are influential, who are uh, capable of providing solid friendships, solid relationships. Wow, what an intense reading. I didn't expect this. Universe, please show us. You are so strong, Aries. I admire that. Your inner strength is amazing. Yeah. You do miss the person. You, you did have some quality time with them, but all in all, you feel that uh, you had more confusion and heartbreak than a solid days with this person in this relationship. Yeah, you feel overwhelmed with stress, responsibilities right now. Yeah, you feel so unbalanced. You have some kind of financial losses that you had to go through because of this relationship. Yeah. So not only emotional losses, but also financial losses, which is a red flag, right? Let's see. Aries, keep being strong. Yeah. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries that Aries is letting go of at this time. And how is that soulmate of Aries towards Aries, especially emotionally at this time? Tower moment. They in shock that they losing you. I lost you in some cases already. This is like a aha moment, a wake up call, uh, shock. You see this, the tower moment. This is them kind of shock that wait a minute, uh, I'm losing Aries. They realize now. You see your worth, value, how much you mean to them, how important you are to them. The sun, the best card in the whole deck. This is them seeing clearly what went wrong. You see, so they see clearly, which is a very good sign, right? They see clearly what went wrong, why they losing you, why they lost you in some cases already, and they don't like it. You see all those swords. You see this? They don't like losing you. You see this? This is them not communicating. They're so scared that this is it. This is them panicking, not being able to see clearly right now because they panicking but they will be able to see in due time what to do but they see clearly why they losing you so that's a very good sign because we all make mistakes right but they we have to acknowledge them in order to correct them wow two of cups this person is in love with you they love you deeply but unfortunately it's in the subconscious position which tells me they don't really express it show it verbalize it uh, yeah, it's like you have to guess whether they love you or not. You see, that love is deep, genuine, real, but not shown, not expressed properly. <sighs> wow. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries. And how is that soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time, especially emotionally? They know they're going to have to take action. Yeah, that they going to have to uh, reach out. You see, they have uh, uh, a lot of pride. It's hard for them to show that they are emotionally vulnerable. You see how much pride they have made out of a stone from the neck down. Like they don't like to show they are emotionally vulnerable. They don't communicate with you effectively for some reason. Wow, they're in love with you. Look at this. Look at this. 
This person needed to lose you to address their feelings finally. You see this? They're holding two cups, king of cups, love for you. They're trying to figure out if you still love them or not, if you miss them or not. Yeah, you see? they worried because you're not communicating and they still love you. You see, if they didn't love you, it would be so easy for them to move on. They wouldn't even think about it twice. They would just move on. But because they love you deeply, genuinely, they're not able to let you go that easily, at least not emotionally. You've been very patient with this person. You've been extremely patient with this relationship. Well, all of a sudden now they want to rush back towards you with communication of great importance to them, but they're showing up as extremely guarded, emotionally, very guarded, knight of swords. Yeah. Page of swords again. Uh, this time with one sword. Uh, four birds around them. This person has a lot that they want to tell you that they were holding back, especially when it comes to emotions, feelings, they're checking up on you. <clears throat> yeah, they feel that you are correct in feeling the way you feel. Yeah, they don't blame you for letting this relationship go. Yeah, they understand. So that's a very good sign, right? The question is, what will they do about it? How to fix it, right? If it's fixable, right? I think it is, but, you know, it's going to depend on you. You have the upper hand in this relationship. This means apologies, uh, peace offerings, gifts, explanations. They're checking up on you heavily. They realize that the love they have for you is real, deep, genuine, that they don't want uh, to lose you. This is them. They've been waiting on communication from you, but realize that they need to communicate with you first. This was a serious relationship. It really was. Hierophant, traditionally speaking, talks of marriage, uh, long-term commitment, but it could also mean living together, situation, engagement, planning to be married. Very serious relationship. Wow, Aries. We're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmates entering your life. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family members, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Aries, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.